Oh hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you my um, Lego Small Scale Classic Red Dwarf um, It took several days to complete I'm very very happy with the results I'll take you through The design was very complex and it took a long, it took several days for me to build Yeah, like some things in it, you know I don't know what to say, it's just a mind Yeah, mind scrambled day, I'm not very well, but I uh, crew Here And car and Crichton and <clears throat> Rimmer it's uh I've done a lot for words today, I can't really see much but it's huge but uh, the way it's designed there is no inside but uh I thought I'd show you guys just um, what it looks like, see what you guys think. Uh, here it is from the top. So that's what it looked like in a picture I used. It's, it's not it's the older Red Dwarf. It's not what it looks like now, but uh, the back is. I think it looks pretty cool from the back. <clears throat> that's what I think. You might not think the same. But, uh, Big light there in the front, but of all that took some time. Oops, sorry. Designing. Sorry about the little wonky bit here. I don't know what that bit is. Oh well, no mind. I'll uh, fix this bit later. Yeah. No idea. Well, 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 it's not, no, it's just a slight complication, but, uh, well, at the top of here, you know, these is exactly what it looks like in the front of the Red Dwarf picture I was using on Wikipedia. That bit would have been joined today, but that was just really hard to do. And, uh, well, well, I hope you guys like it, days worth of building and angling and designing and from a distance I think it looks, looks okay I think from a distance and in space it's pretty cool I think, especially with the crew of them are None of you have any idea what Red Dwarf is, and um, be surprised, it's a pretty big thing. Maybe I'm not sure how big his fan base is, but the point here, it's supposed to be fairly popular. It's 10 series as this came to an end, um, so you know, I was very excited about that. I was like, I really liked Red Dwarf, but. Give another really look at the crew here. Try to get them as close as I could. Especially this time. I thought that looked like it was maybe wearing a shirt underneath, so that's why that skin colored. This is supposed to be Rimmer, but it may be sort of like this tomb and the cat. I think it looks quite cool with the hair and the classic purple that it usually wears. And Crichton, the big shoulder pads, and 
So I'm on back printing. Oops, spaceship. So I'm on back printing. He does, Creighton does. And he does too. So, uh, we have it. My red door. Spaceship is classic mine, so don't go complain saying it looks nothing like the one you see in series 10. This is classic red dwarf. And uh, now they got gaps. Not supposed to be here, but that's the only way I could design it. And thank you for watching. If you have, subscribe. If you want to, you know, as I told you to. <clears throat> and I hope to see you guys soon. And maybe have some of our Lego projects. Um, I could show you guys. I haven't got any yet, but I'm probably gonna do another one soon. So I'll see you guys later, and uh, uh, I'm lost for words today, really. I'm gonna go for a bit longer, but I have nothing else to say about this. You know, other than the fact that I probably won't be doing something this ever again. <clears throat> the time consuming work and effort I put into it. Hank, Lister, and Crichton, and Rima. Okay. I think you would be proud. Um, but I went into so much effort to reproduce their classic spaceship. And so you can find the guys and see you guys later.